NCAA men's basketball Final Four team, which lost to coach John Wooden's UCLA Bruins in the national semifinals, who they rallied to defeat North Carolina in the national third place game. NBC correspondent Michael Admire takes us back 50 years to a special time in Central Iowa. Kentucky, this is the moment that Greg has been waiting for. Going against the number one team in the country, UCLA. It was 50 years ago when Coach Maurice John led Dolph Polium, Willie McCarter, Willie Wise, and 13 other Bulldogs into college basketball history. The Final Four never came up until we were there. There were several things that happened to cause that team to become a family. The previous season, Drake finished 18-8. and eight. That was good for fourth in the Valley. Expectations weren't much different coming into the 1968-69 season until the Bulldogs started with wins over 20th ranked Marquette and 19th ranked Iowa. The pieces were coming together. There's no uh, starter taller than 6'5". He had played Maury Johns, Pan and belly button defense uh, that run up tempo and uh, a different hero each night. Eight games into Missouri Valley play, the Bulldogs took a step back. They were five and three after two straight road losses. But behind the scenes, defensive captain Dolph Pulliam called the team together. We knew that things were going to happen for us as long as we continued to play hard. And that was the key for us. We just kind of made a commitment. Everybody's going to have to play, play their best game all the time, every day. From that moment, Drake won 12 straight, clinching the Missouri Valley Conference title. Average victory margin, 12.5 points. They beat six top 20 teams in that season. We were kicking on all cylinders. So we felt that coming as well. The Bulldogs blew past Texas A&M, then slipped by Colorado State en route to the Final Four. It was a fabulous experience, mostly because the whole city and the whole Derek Drake uh, campus got behind it. The enthusiasm that the fans had was contagious to the players. Hi, everybody. This is Kirk Gowdy. Drake gave Lou Alcindor and John Woodens a UCLA powerhouse all they could handle. After trailing 11-2, to two, Drake fought back within one point late in the second half. But it was too late. UCLA got the scare of its life and nearly blew the ball game. The run galvanized a university and a city. The Bulldogs were greeted back in Des Moines to a hero's welcome. At the airport, the crowds were out on the runway. We actually had a little pep rally and speeches right there on the runway. It was amazing. 50 years later, it's time for one final celebration. When you see them again, it's like you, you just saw them yesterday, it's like turning back the clock. You know, these are special times for us, and we're gonna, we're gonna enjoy being back in Des Moines and seeing our friends and our fans. You'll never see a scrappier team. For the Missouri Valley Conference, I'm Michael Admire. Thank you very much, Michael. There is a look at Dolph Pulliam. He will go into the Missouri Valley Conference Hall of Fame at this year's Arch Madness, March 8th. As you see, the 1969 squad, Adam Emenecker, part of the Legends crew. The Bulldogs would get back to the NCAA tournament in 2008 after the 69 team.